this video was requested by this lovely person here. Thank you very much for this request. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I definitely feel like a lot of us needed to see this. <laughs> Hello there, my beautiful soul. <laughs> what brings you here to the Monster Lounge? Most importantly, what brings you to my office? You wanted to spend some time with me? That's understandable. Is there a specific reason why? You're having a hard time at NRC? Well, that's understandable. You are human. And you're from a different universe or world. It's only natural that you are frightened, having a rough time, not knowing the history of Twisted Wonderland. <laughs> May I ask, why is it, in your opinion, why you are having a rough time at school? People are being rude and talking behind your back. Well, that's not very nice, now is it? My dear, I want you to know that you are not alone in this. School and NRC, even life in general, can be tough. And dealing with mean people is never easy. But remember, their words and actions are only a reflection of their <laughs> own insecurities, not your worth. First, Let's address the issue of people talking behind your back. It's hurtful, I know, but remember, their words only have power if you let them. Focus on your own growth and surround yourself with positive influences. True friends will always support you and uplift you. Trust me, I, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Sometimes being with Jade and... <laughs> Even Floyd is always a wild ride, and it's almost smothering how I don't want to say affectionate, but I mean, in a way, it could be affection in their own way. I'm not really sure, but never mind that. We'll talk more about that some other time. Now, let's talk about how to handle these situations. It's important to stay calm and composed. Take a deep breath and remind yourself that their negativity is not worth your own energy. Instead, channel that energy into something positive, like pursuing your passions or engaging in activities that bring you joy. Maybe even talking to people like family or colleagues that make you happy and will uplift you. Not drag you down. Another crucial aspect is self-care. Take time for yourself. My dear, engage in activities that make you feel good. Whether it's reading a book, going for a walk, or practicing mindfulness. Remember, you deserve kindness and love, especially from yourself. Additionally, consider seeking support from trusted adults, such as teachers, counselors, or family members that can provide guidance and help address the situation appropriately. Remember, you don't have to face this all alone. <laughs> Lastly, but most importantly, always remember your worth. You are unique, talented, and deserving of respect. Surround yourself with positive affirmations and remind yourself of your strengths every day. Believe in yourself, my dear, because you are capable of overcoming any challenge or obstacle that comes your way. I'm proud of you. I hope these words bring you comfort. <sighs> my dear, remember, you are not defined by the opinions of others. Stay strong, stay true to yourself, and know that you are loved and supported by not just me. From Jade, Floyd, 
and your family. Now, is there anything else you would like to talk about or do? I understand that most people, when being comforted, especially land dwellers, like to get cozy with one another. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Give affection? Space? I'm not quite sure what it is you want. So, my dear human, what is it that you wish to do now? Cud... Cuddle? Um... Sure. Come on. There you are, all swaddled in the blanket. Okay, come on. Let's... Let's go sit down at the couch near the fireplace. Okay. Now that you're seated, come here. Lay in my arms. It's okay. There you go. That's it. You can lay your head on my chest if you want. <laughs> Don't be alarmed if I run my fingers through your hair. It's just me. <laughs> See? Doesn't this feel better instead of dealing with this all alone? <laughs> Just know that no matter what, I will always keep you safe. I can tell by your expression and your mannerisms that you are feeling more relaxed and feeling better. Which, I'm glad, but next time someone messes with you, let me know. I will personally deal with them. <laughs> you know, not all the time it's just Jade and Floyd doing all the dirty work. <laughs> I'm not afraid to get my hands messy. Especially if it's for you. But let's not dwell on that, my dear. Let us relax. And stay in each other's embrace for some time. Hmm? You worried about the twins? Don't be. They're at basketball practice, so... You know. I don't think they'll bother us. Plus... It... Doesn't end till... 6.39. It's... No. Never mind. It's... 7.38. <laughs> My bad. Either way, I had them take care of some things at the Monster Lounge. Well, I told them when they're done with basketball practice, go to the Monster Lounge. Make sure that things don't get out of hand. You know, with customers and such. I did hear it was supposed to rain today. I'm surprised it's not raining here. Speak of the devil. Hey, at least it's not the twins. Knock on wood. <laughs> or worse, Vil. <laughs> no, I do not particularly have a problem with the house warden of Palm here, but. He does tend to be quite, don't know what the word I'm looking for is, that is nice, um, I don't know, I can't really think of a word that describes him nicely. <laughs> Nice. I make deals with poor unfortunate souls. I mean, that's considered nice, right? Ow! You don't have to hit me. Jeez. <laughs> You're almost as bad as Floyd with his emotions getting out of control so easily. Ow! Okay, hey. That wasn't supposed to be an insult. Okay, I'm sorry if you took offense to that. I don't know why he's not that bad. Especially when you spent so 
so much time with him and his twin brother. You just kind of, you just kind of grow used to his, his stupidity. <laughs> I mean, it's really funny after a while. Yes, so what if I'm tired? <laughs> I do not keep giggly when I'm tired. You're tired. Shut it. Come here. That's it. No, we're we're sleeping here. I don't care if the twins find us. I, I could care less. <laughs>